Hi, this is Andrea Shulman again, and I wanted to make a quick video on forgiveness. Specifically, if you find yourself asking this question of why should I forgive them? Why on earth should I forgive this person who has wronged me? And I'm gonna get going on this in just a second, but first things first, the word should isn't one of my favorite words. In fact, it's probably my least favorite word because the context of this video is really not gonna be about what you should do, but rather why forgiveness is in your best interests and why it's actually the route that you will prefer. So I wanna talk about that in this video today. But first, if you're watching this video on YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram, please make sure to follow or subscribe to my page and if possible, turn on notifications because I do put out new videos like this one every single week. Also, if you enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think about it below in the comments. Your engagement here really does help my work on this platform and enables me to continue making videos like this. So I really do appreciate your support and your engagement. All right, but let's go ahead and get into this, why should I forgive them question. And again, should is really not the operative word. It's more like, why would I want to forgive them? And there's actually a number of really good reasons why forgiveness is always in our best interest. And this is something that I've learned personally, and I know that there may be some characters who are very hard to forgive, and I know that there's probably still a few in my closet that I'm still kind of working with here, but I've really learned that it's always the case that forgiveness works out best for me. So I wanna to explain to you why that is. To me, one of the biggest reasons why forgiveness is always in our best interest is that it lets us off the hook. Meaning, if we decide that somebody's wrong for what they did, how they behaved, what they said, whatever, what we are projecting is a fundamental belief structure inside that there is a correct way to behave, there is a correct way to act, there is a correct way to be. And in order to be a good person who deserves approval, we have to fit inside this box. Now, if we open that up, what we start to realize is that if we are holding on to a grudge, that's really what we're saying. There's a right way to be. And I'm only going to give approval if somebody fits inside this box. It also means, however, that I'm only going to give myself approval if I sit inside this box. And that's one of the reasons why forgiveness is so helpful for yourself. Because when we give permission to other people to misbehave, to make mistakes, to act inappropriately, and we decide that we're not going to hold that against them, we also in turn that do that for ourselves. Meaning, I'm allowed to be who I am. I'm allowed to maybe not fit inside of somebody else's box and I'm still worthy of forgiveness. I'm still worthy of approval. Okay, because remember, through the law of attraction, everything is a mirror. If I'm not forgiving somebody, it means on some level, there are certain rules that I don't forgive myself for because I don't fit inside that box. Another really big reason why forgiveness for me is the preferred route is that I found that if I can't forgive somebody for something, what it means on some level is that I'm afraid that if I don't keep my guard up, something's gonna happen to me again. I'm afraid if I don't hold up those walls, somebody's gonna get in there and hurt me again, or this person's gonna come back and screw me. <laughs> and so when I don't forgive, what it basically means is I'm holding on to a fear. I might be not forgiving and holding a grudge because I believe on some level that that's projecting strength or power, but all it's really projecting is my fear that that person has the power to hurt me. And again, through the law of attraction, everything is projection. Whatever you're projecting, you attract more of. So if I find myself in a position where I do not want to forgive somebody, I'm actually putting myself at a tremendous risk for that exact same thing happening again. 
either from the person that I'm not forgiving or for someone else out there in the universe to show up and match me where I'm resonating. If by contrast, I can find a way to let it go, the message that I project is people can't hurt me. Nobody can get to me because I'm not projecting the fear and therefore I'm no longer a match to that behavior coming back into the picture. So forgiveness at the end of the day for me really isn't about the other person. It's really selfishly more about myself. <laughs> and I would like for forgiveness to be selfishly more about you as well if and when you choose to forgive somebody that hurts you because it really does benefit you personally to forgive the other person. That being said, it isn't always easy to forgive people. Right, But I found that something that's very useful is to remind myself that it's in my best interest to forgive on small infractions. The more I can forgive somebody for cutting me off in traffic or throwing me a dirty look or doing something small, the easier it is for me to forgive larger infractions. And so while it may very well be in all of our best interest to forgive, please realize that if somebody really did you badly, this is in no way a judgment against you for having a difficulty in forgiving that person, but rather just to get on board with the idea that forgiveness in general benefits you and to start working on forgiveness with what you can forgive now so that it's a fundamental way of operating in the world for you that becomes easy and natural so that if somebody were to do something big, no problem. And the funny thing is, once forgiveness becomes kind of your standard operating procedure, you're no longer projecting that fear, so you're no longer a match to those big nasty infractions anyways. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video on why should I forgive them or why would I want to forgive them for what they did to me. If you enjoyed this video, you might like another video that I made a while back on forgiving and forgetting. Is it in your best interest to forgive and forget? And if you'd like to go ahead and watch that video next, I'll go ahead and link that video in the description so you can watch it now. Also, if you are new to my work, I would love to invite you to take my Law of Attraction test if you'd like to learn more about this phenomenon of projection, how your thoughts project into reality. You can look in the description and you will probably see that there is a link to take that test now too if you'd like to. Again, thanks so much for watching this video on why should I forgive them. Have a great day. Bye-bye.